Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome to Let's Play Fallout 1 with a stupid character, with Ugo. Ugo not stupid, Ugo Mart. Yes, yes. Anyway, we've uh, just been to the cave killing scorpions and now we're back to Shady Sands talking to, uh, going to talk to Seth because we took care of the problem. Our entire town is grateful to you for destroying the rat scorpions. Thank you. Oh, how does he know? And, um, we don't have... We can't say anything. And that was it! He didn't give us anything. We didn't get the X... Well, actually, we got 500 XP for uh, ending the scorpion threat, so that's alright. How much is this? 40. Well, at this point, I don't really want to waste uh, caps. How much are these? 10 per, so... Here, you can have that. And also, we can actually go to the doctor now that it's daytime. Because he's the only one... Whoops. He's the only one that we haven't talked to yet, because he just told us to get out. Because he's sleeping. So let's see, I think he'll be able to make an antidote with the rat scorpion tail, if I remember that, for the guy in the back. Can I help you? Scorpion? Scorpion? Let me see the sack. Yes, I can do something with this. Oh, here. Take this as a free sample. It seems to work well against rat scorpion stings, of course, but it shows much potential as a general anti-venom and poison cure. Well, there we go. 250 experience for uh, helping make the antidote. Lucky! Hmm, I think I've seen Brahmin with more brain cells than you. Well, let's see if you're wounded. What the hell was that anyway? Lucky? Oh, Lucky like at my wounds or something? Let's see here. Oh, great Brahmin! That is very, very serious. It will cost $50. Okay, me give? Nunga. Right, let's, uh, let's see what he has to barter. Uh, he's got some of these. Uh, that's quite cheap, actually, by follow two standards, anyway. Well, I hmm, don't think I can afford it, but uh, we do have a lockpick set. That's quite nice. Um, I mean, I can give him all of these, and it's not going to be enough. Hmm. Well, there we go. It is enough. Okay. All right, 210. Take all that junk. <laughs> Look. No, it's Corbin, Corbin. Let me see the sack. Oh, wait. Here, take this as a free sample. What? You have been poisoned. You take damage from poison. What? What, what was... He gave me another antidote. What? Okay. Eh. That was interesting. Tell me about... Huh? Oh, it doesn't work here. Okay, Nunga. Well, that was weird. Anyway, oh yeah, let's go talk to the guy in the back. See if uh, he knows that we are to thank for him getting better. Hello, I'm sorry. Okay. We've already done that. You look distraught. Are you in need of assistance? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't understand you. <laughs> okay, great. We did a monumental amount of one quest here, but let's see if Tandy talks to us more now that we've helped the town. I kind of doubt it. Don't bother me. I'm too busy to talk right now. I've got to get this meal ready. Thank goodness you came. I am oh. in desperate need of assistance. My daughter Tandy is missing. I do not know what to do. Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. If you can understand me, please try to find my daughter. <laughs> if you can understand me. <laughs> oh, man. How are we going to find her? I can't even remember how we found her last time. And now we... You know, we can't even ask people about Tandy because, well, we're too dumb to ask. Oh, bloody hell, this is going to be interesting. Let's ask Seth, maybe. And also, let's ask these guys. If we can, which I doubt we can. I look like you're new here. Yeah. Sorry, but I don't have time to talk to straight. Ooh, I can't believe that Tandy has disappeared. I hope you are going to find her. It would really hurt Aradish if something bad happened to her. Okay. I got nothing. Oh yeah, because they've already took this stuff, I think. Our entire town is grateful. Hmm. 
Hello again, I hope you're doing well. Is there anything I can help you with? Wooba. It is a pity that you're dim-witted. Wooba. All right. Hmm. I don't think we can get information from anyone, really. Ah, uh, which is unfortunate, of course. No. What about the doctor? Ah, there we go. <laughs> you look distraught. Are you in need of assistance? <laughs> Tandy boo. <laughs> Tand Tandy is gone? That is a terrible thing. I hope they find her. Um, great. Thanks for that load of information. Brilliant. That really helped, Doc. Man, the people in this town are horrible at, um, giving me any information at all. Well, we can go to the other part of the town as well, but... Yeah, I honestly can't remember where you find her. I mean, I'm not gonna try to metagame too much, even though, unfortunately, with a stupid character, I probably will have to. Um, you know, for experience and to prevent us from just running out of time. I got nothing to say to you, stranger. Welcome to Shady Sand, stranger. <laughs> oh. Oh. Didn't... Oh, we forgot to take it last time because I actually died in the Red Scorpions. Actually, I'm not going to read that book just yet because it does uh, advance time. Come on. Oh, he was in the way. There's so many people here, and all dressed the same. There's no uh, named people, however. There's the Brahmin. Um, yeah. Nothing here at all. Weather-beaten farmer. Oh, there's some more rope here. And a uh, sledgehammer. That is not... Bad. We can certainly use that. Let's see. It's 4 to 14 and has two range, but I believe yeah, it uses four per swing. Still, that's pretty good. Because we're able to do only two attacks per, um, you know, per uh, turn anyway, because we've got, what, how many action points? Uh, don't know, eight or something. So we'll be able to attack twice with this as well. And at range, so that's pretty good. It's pretty good, I think. I'll keep that for now. A super sledge is, of course, something we'll uh, be looking forward to later. I believe it's been already in this game. So, we've got absolutely no clues as to where Tandy might be. Um, so we just gotta hit the road. <laughs> There's the toilets, there's nothing there for us. Yeah, nothing at all. Of course, I'm going to save before we uh, continue. There. Right. Oh, what's that? It, oh, is that... That's the vault. Okay. Let's go and check it out. See how much more nicely the game runs now. Right. Vault 15. Ah. A small shack is all that remains of this area. Fortunately, your records indicate a secondary entrance to Vault 15 there. How would Ugo even know what a secondary entrance is? Or, you know, what are, uh, what the records are? Alright, oh great, it's gonna be more, yeah, rats. Well, we can check out the uh, sledgehammer now. <coughs> And we're at 52 HP at level 2. That's pretty nice. Oh, great. Come on. Oh, come on! Seriously? There we go. Bang! Oh, yeah. This is going to be the era... Oh, 10 hit points. Not bad. This is going to be the era of um, waiting a few years for enemies to uh, slide about the place because we hit them so hard. Hello, rat. Ow. It missed, though. Oh, yeah. I have to remember that I have a little bit of range with this sledgehammer. So don't actually have to be right next to them if I'm uh, trying to sneak up on something. Seriously, 78% and we missed twice. Okay. Excellent. Look at that. They've blown that vault door clean off. That's 
crazy. What kind of bloody explosive was that? I mean, as far as I know, these vault doors are supposed to be like blast doors. So those were some pretty good explosives there. Four hit points with a hammer. No, no, no. Having none of that. Come on. Seriously? Well, we didn't get hit once so far. That's good. Excellent. Where's this one? Oh. Hello, Mr. Rat. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 thank you very much. Right. Now there's the emergency thing over here. Oh, bloody hell, there's a big mole rat. I didn't even notice that. I've completely forgotten about that. I'm going to save. No. I don't... Where is it? I thought it was here in the corner. Okay, let's deal with this rat here. Oh, it's there. Let's deal with this rat first. There we go. And th ah! It's right here already. 64 only. 10 hit points. Excellent. Nice. Ow. Ow. Okay, it can o Ooh. Whoa! We've already killed it. Excellent. I like that. Uh, that was not a nice thing. Wait, what did we get from there? Oh yeah, the the flares. Which I never really used in this game. Or the second one at all. I know it's supposed to increase your, uh, you know... To hit chance, because, uh... You can see more, but I don't know. I never really used it. I always just... Sold everything. I have to get a little bit closer. Nice, I like the sledgehammer a lot. No rat. Lovely. Yeah. Strong Ugo and Sledgehammer. Those are the two things that go together well. There's another little uh, locker there. Hmm. Very nice. Four stim packs and a first aid. That is quite valuable, actually. When trading. Of course, I'm not going to trade away the um, stim packs. But I might trade away the first aid kit. Although, I might actually use it myself. Because uh, otherwise we'll use a lot of time sleeping. Oh no, wait a second. Oh yeah, we need rope, don't we? The elevator shaft does not easily descend without a rope. Can we still try? That would be hilarious. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So let's use a rope. Because we have two. Bing. There we go. You successfully sling a rope down into the elevator shaft. There we go. Nice. All that is destroyed. So now we've got these pig rats. Hello, pig rats. No, I wanted to start the combat first. Darn it. Ow. Ow, they hurt. Yeah, take that. Ooh. Is that it? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, bloody hell. Everything's coming here now. Excellent. That one's dead. And that one's been knocked about a bit. They do a heck of a lot of damage. Wait. Oh, that's one. Okay. I thought it was two more rats over there. Come a little bit closer. I'll go like this. So it has to spend all of its action points coming here. And... Nice. Excellent. That wasn't bad. 150. What? This place is completely bloody infested. But then again, it's abandoned, so... Yeah. Okay, that's that. You got no fine tiny. <laughs> Wait, were there rats here? Yes, there are. Let's see what else we have. Lots of rats. There's a pig rat and lots of rats. So, not too bad. Oh, do we have? Do we need more rope? That's good because we do have more rope. Point two two three. Uh oh, one hit point. <laughs> excellent. I mean, it's not excellent. I don't want to get any damage at all. But one hit point was pretty funny. We do need to find some armor. That would be quite nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cave rat critically missed and crippled her left arm. That is funny. 
Whenever you see an enemy attack you, and you don't... and you, oh, Why did I do that? And your character does not do... Or any other character that's being attacked does not do any kind of animation of being hit or um, dodging. That means that the attacking character has critically missed or critically failed in their attack. Which usually means something funny like... You know, either they dropped a weapon, crippled themselves, shot themselves, or stuff like that. Ooh, nice, there we go. There's some first set of armor. Mad Max armor. There we go, that's pretty cool. And we've got more rope, because I guess you need it there. So the game is nice enough to give it to you. I know that... I think that in one of these, there's like, um, boxes of stuff. That you can take. Let's get a little bit closer. We'll only be able to attack once, so let's go for a... Yeah, let's go for the ice. 33. Oh yeah, 33%, 10 hit points and was killed. See, this is what I mean, that was that instant kill. Even though we only did 10 hit points of damage. But of course, that was a huge gamble. I mean, not a huge gamble, because it wasn't a very dangerous, an overly dangerous... Um, uh, enemy, but it would be a huge gamble if it was. But I was almost certain that we would miss because, you know, 33%. But we didn't, so that was nice. What's that over there? I mean, it's a vent, but equipment, okay. I think I'm just thinking of Fallout 2 because there's some stuff in a vent in a vault. Notice how I am being... Oh, nice. Notice how I am being very sort of vague about it, because I don't want to spoil it. Awareness bonus... Uh, awareness is very nice, actually. It will give you more detailed information about an enemy when you perform an exam. That is a very cool perk. I do suggest it. Lots of them are useless. But bonus H2H -H damage. Um, unarmed combat we're not doing, so we're not going to be doing that. Earlier sequence is kind of nice, but eh, not worth taking. Faster healing, meh. Night vision, eh. Quick pockets, eh, not really that good for us. Scout, it will increasing the size of exploration on the world map by one square in each direction. Not that useful. Strong band, quite nice. And toughness, quite nice. But I'm going to take awareness for now because, uh, well, it's quite a good thing to have with any character, really. All right, nice. So where's the other... There it is, <laughs> right there. So now we have an 85% chance to hit these. Very cool. All right. Anything else here? Okay, let's go take care of those rats as well, and then we can uh, put down another rope. Is there like... I, I can't quite remember. Isn't there like something crazy like super mutants down there or something? I don't know. Just feels like that. Really? But now we have 18 uh, armor class because of the leather armor, so that's cool. Let's hit that rat. Oh, we're too far away. Smashy, smashy! I'm, I'm kind of sad I didn't take a uh, bloody mess, but eh, we need all the perks we can get, all the traits we can get. There we go, that was nice. All right, so now we can uh, use another rope over here and get down there as well. Let's see what's down there. Oh, lots of pig rats, let's see. Lots of pig rats, lots of rats, a big mole rat. Uh, not much else, the control room is completely blocked off. There is a baton, a crowbar actually. I thought it was a police baton. Um, none of the computers work. Uh, it's not functioning. But we do have some ammunition over there. And not much else. But we do have these lockers here. Hmm. This might be a little bit dangerous. Yeah. Uh. But anyway, we're going to continue next time. Hope you're enjoying this. And uh, I will see you in the next part of Let's Play Fallout 1. Bye-bye.